as you can see in today's uh, title down below, today we're going to be talking about changing, staying focused in your change. Um, I just wanted to talk about what I've been going through. I'm going to be posting this video just to like in a few years I can look back and see where I was in my life. Um, but right now I, so I, if many of you don't know, I'm a mayor corpse. That is a volunteer position. It's a, a nationwide program that's ran by the government. Well, it's certain organizations that are a part of this national program that work with the government that gets they, they get funds from the government and so this is my third year doing it and through it I've learned a lot I learned that I still don't like kids but I love them at the same time like uh, I've learned a lot from them hopefully they've done they've learned a lot from me and uh, um, I I don't know. I chose this year to be my last year because I wanted to do something different. Two years I was at a school called Fuji's Academy. I was working with kids from war-torn countries like Sudan, Iraq, um, Burma, and I really love those kids. Hey guys, if you're watching, miss you. Um, but. I chose to leave there after two years because I wanted something different. I wanted a new challenge. I felt like I did what I was supposed to do there in my two years being there. Um, even though, like after the first year, I chose to stay because I felt like I really wanted to stay. And after my second year, that same feeling was gone. I didn't feel no, no shade, no ill feelings. Like everything was good. I. I was going to miss the kids, but I just felt like it was something else out there for me. So I chose another AmeriCorps program. It's called a Notre Dame um, Volunteer Program. I'm still a AmeriCorps, it's just a different name. Um, and so this is a whole new program, whole new people, whole new supervisor. And at first, like when we had our first meeting, I <clears throat> I liked it. People were cool. Um, I was still myself. Um, in a place I cho chose, I'm not gonna give the information on that because anyway, uh, I chose the organization, a youth center in uh, Riverdale, Georgia. And my first day there was cool. I met everyone, met the kids. And as the days progressed, some things happened. Um, uh, I was discriminated against for wearing makeup. Um, I was asked not to wear as much as I had been before because some of the parents didn't feel comfortable with me being around their kids. The crazy thing about it was that that whole that one moment caused a whole trickle down of other incidents between me and one of the other employees where I felt like I was being followed and just not trusted in my ability. And so my uh, supervisor just uh, got heads up from the the higher ups that they were going to be moving me and I didn't want that because at the time everything had settled down we had conversations things were nipped in the bud and I'll be giving a whole video on that like that whole situation later but um I was given like a two week notice last year like in December that I was going to be switching places, locations, and so, I don't know, it's crazy, like all I've been going through, 
And so now I'm at another organization, youth center in uh, Atlanta called Agape Youth Center. Um, and I'm like it there. I just haven't been feeling like myself when I go. Um, Cause it's like doubt has been uh, around me. I haven't been feeling confident in my skills, in myself. But today, I woke up, I called in to the prayer. Um, they have, my church has a prayer line. And they, uh, like the elders and another <clears throat> pastor that's a friend of the church, they always pray and give a word for the day. And so I called in and I listened to it. It was very inspirational, motivating. I went on a run this morning. Yesterday, I didn't go on a run. I didn't feel like it. I think I wake up, woke up too late anyway. But, um, so I went on a run. I drank some water today. <laughs> Again. Also, another video coming about my seven uh, day water fast. And as you can see, I got my little broccoli and fish. It's really good. And so, today, I vowed to myself, I made myself a promise that I would be myself, my true self. That I would not let any doubt come over me. That I'm going to be open to new challenges, new um, experiences. Be open, open-minded, be loving, kind, and just tackle today. Like, not become secluded and, um, what's the word? Like... I don't know, just like not boring. Cause I hate when I get into those moves where I just don't want to be bothered. So we're gonna fight that today. And I don't know what you're going through, but I hope that you fight it, that you make yourself a promise to trust the process, to uh, be your best self today. Cause I was listening to a podcast today. I forgot the name of it, but I'll link it in the description box below. Um, about just trusting where you're at right now. Trust God and just be your best self in that moment. So that's what I'm going to do today. And that, yeah. So I hope that helps you today, wherever you are in this world, wherever you're at in your life. That you just trust the process, bro. Like, just do it. Don't let nothing stop you from being your best self. If you feel a funk, shake it off keep going all right y'all so i'm gonna eat my food and i'll talk to y'all later bye